Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back again. Welcome back, guys. Yeah, it's been a busy day for us. Um, we had a drop. So this is this was a Patreon exclusive, just simply entitled the most important video you'll ever watch with a question mark, exclamation point. Oh, lots of stuff in there that I don't know if most people have a clue of. You guys do. You have a clue. But we just wanted to pl plainly state things and put some things together that you probably haven't had all pieced together at one time. Indeed. Indeed. It was great. So uh, we had Patreons join us and live interaction. Again, exclusive videos over on Patreon every week. And here we see Israeli airstrike hits a large Hezbollah weapons depot, they say. In Baalbek, interesting that again, barium and aluminum. When you look at those two symbols, you put them together, it says Baal. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Lebanon, Lebanon's very curious, and so is Syria. Uh, absolutely, soon to be part of the expanding greater Israel. Hmm, time will tell. We'll see. There's a lot going on, a lot going on for sure. This is. Over here, you see a Chinese Coast Guard vessel rammed Philippine Coast Guard vessels within Philippine territorial waters. Both ships sustained serious damages. Things are getting testy out there. And then we also have a billionaire known as the British Gilbates. Mike Lynch is missing alongside his 18-year-old daughter after his super yacht sank off the coast of Sicily, sparking a huge search effort. He, uh, co he is co-defendant in a U.S. fraud trial uh, with Stephen Chamberlain. His co-defendant died in the hospital after being hit by a car two days ago. Chamberlain faced the same charges of fraud and conspiracy as his former boss for allegedly scheming to inflate the company's value before it was sold. Both men were acquitted of all 15 charges by a jury in San Francisco in June, and he told of his second life after finally winning a 13-year legal fight over the 8.3 billion pound sale of his firm, Autonomy, to U.S. company Hewlett Packard. Yet, tragedy is now struck so soon after his moment of triumph with the 59-year-old believed to be among passengers trapped on board his luxury yacht after it sank off the coast of Sicily this morning. One passenger has been reported dead so far. Curious events. Oh, yes. Lots of curious events. How about this one? President Joe Biden and his family, this is from BRICS News, by the way. BRICS, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and many others. Uh, now, it's a growing organization. So they say President Joe Biden and his family received $27 million from foreign individuals and entities. A new report reveals Republican-led House unveiled findings from its year-long impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden on Monday, concluding that the president's family and business associates raked in more than $27 million through foreign business deals in recent years. In a 291-page report, a trio of House committees found that, the, that Biden committed impeachable offenses, including abuse of power, by mingling with his son Hunter's and brother James' foreign business partners while he was vice president. The House Oversight Ways and Means and Judiciary Committees which have led the inquiry, said that after more than two dozen interviews, six hearings, and a review of millions of pages of documents, they found that the Biden family participated in a global influence peddling racket with Biden's full knowledge and cooperation. And MTG is, is putting out their calls for impeachment. Uh, it's interesting because, you know, Joni Petri has said that she doesn't believe Kamala will actually be the one that is running uh, come, you know, selection, I mean, election time, you know, in November. She's really expecting Newsom. Other people are expecting uh, Big Mike and others are expecting Hillary being resurrected or one of the Hillary's anyway showing up. But, you know, this is curious because would uh, Kamala also some way be pulled into this and negated from running? It's very curious times. It, it is. I mean, very suspicious times, too. A lot of 
meddling going on, a lot of uh, probably hacking of computers going on. I, I, I think it's fun. And they try to hack people's computer and get information. And it's just what they do because they're evil and they like to control. Well, if all the criminals were arrested on Capitol Hill, we'd have nothing but crickets chirping. I like the sound of that. It would be a lot peaceful there. That's for sure. Absolutely. So here's a report that Trudeau Liberal Justice Minister Arif Varani says that putting Canadians under house arrest on suspicion that they may commit a hate crime in the future will help to de-radicalize people who are learning things online. Uh, Learning how corrupt the system is? Oh, yeah. So this is just the system trying again to... uh, maintain power. The UK is releasing 5,000 prisoners to make room for anti-immigration protesters. Kid you not, uh, multiple people are reporting on this. They're literally going to let out the hardened criminals to put people that are questioning the power structure and the politicians in there. Meanwhile, you have an awful lot of police surrounding the DNC But it didn't do any good as you have protesters breaking their way inside the barriers at this moment. So we'll see what happens over there. Uh, Again, the astrology is showing uh, that there's going to be some momentous uh, events in perhaps the coming week. I think so, too. I mean, things are really, really, really ramping up. It's just time to kind of sit back and watch and get grounded and centered. Here we see a tank uh, from Belarus. It's running the Belarus flag in the Russian region of Kursk, which is where, uh, again, there are uh, Ukrainian fighters and probably NATO, uh, certainly NATO uh, supplies and weapons, but yeah, probably some NATO soldiers as well. Maybe we uh, should call them volunteers. Uh, as that would probably be the official designation that they would be given fighting against Russia with Belarus. Now, again, the Polish psychic said that he he foresaw um, a series of attacks on Poland that it feels to me would most likely come from Belarus, some sort of exchange between Belarus and Poland that would um, balloon out into uh, a greater conflict and if Peter's listening to this which he probably is he's our translator in Poland um, he could give us more details and clarification again and I'll share it with you guys as uh, the English uh, channel is not really up to date uh, with uh, his uh, translations let's say and he's been very ac- ac- very accurate. And again, he's helped the police literally find missing people. Uh, he's another one very much like Alois Ermeiler was back in the uh, 40s and 50s. Meanwhile, hey, if you want to, they'll welcome you over in Putin's Russia. Putin signs a decree to assist foreigners fleeing neoliberal ideals for traditional Russian values. Yes, this decree allows individuals to apply for temporary residence in Russia without needing to meet the usual requirements, which is knowledge of Russian language and history. Applicants must reject their home country's policies that impose destructive neoliberal ideals contrary to Russian spiritual and moral values. So, you know, you you can start applying for visas as early as September, just in case you were interested. When I saw this was Southbury, Connecticut, it really did blow my mind. Uh, As you guys may know, I I am from Connecticut originally and uh, have spent really like uh, the last 20 years pretty much in many different locations. But, you know, the first 40 were over in Connecticut, know Southbury very well, and I've never seen flooding like this up there at all, not even close. This is incredible. In fact, they're calling it a once in 200 year flood. In, uh, in my home area and uh, over in Long Island, too. This is just incredible. A foot or more of rain in some locations in less than 24 hours. Um, literally took out a dam. This is Oxford, uh, Connecticut again. Uh, what's that? That's somebody's garage going by or something. It's crazy. This is just insane what we are witnessing all around the world. Again, well, I wasn't, and I'm not kidding or joking when I say that they are triggering mud floods. 
uh, it's part of the redo, you know, for, for lack of a better word. Um, this entire dam got washed away. It's just incredible what we're seeing. Again, as somebody that used to live in Connecticut, I, I don't remember anything remotely like this in the 40 years I spent there. And also across uh, Long Island Sound, Stony Brook, Long Island, uh, you know, dam failure, roads swept away, just incredible, uh, the flooding. This is local Fox News showing you, you know, some scenes. Everybody gathering, there again, it's a state of emergency. They say things so plainly in the Northeast. Um, you know, here, here you end up having, you know, the officials saying, you know, stay the flock away, don't get in our way. Because it's a mess, and it's not going to be fixed anytime soon, so don't have any expectations. Mm -mm. No, no, don't. And and I just have to say, before we go, because I'm, I'm a little bit disturbed, I really, it, sometimes people get into our computer, and they tinker, and they listen, and I just want to say, we finished that video over on uh, Patreon. It was a really hard-hitting video. And Mike and I, we pull no punches when it comes to calling out the controllers and the technologies that they use. I don't believe for a second that it's just the solar anything creating havoc on this land. I believe it's triggered, and I think it's definitely uh, something that's technologically done but we are mike and i are very happy we are very healthy there is absolutely nothing wrong with us and i'm just leaving it at that yeah it's sometimes you got to cover your bases that way especially with like the video that went up on patreon today you know when life gives you a flood you might as well get out splash around and enjoy it like this little dough oh my gosh that one's having so much fun see one of these days i hope that i can just run and play in the water and the grass like I used to and just really have no no cares except for you know where's the next meal and that might be a big question for many in the coming days <laughs> that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother video again uh thank you guys so much for your support we couldn't do it without your support do share your comments uh again stay prepared as possible mentally physically spiritually uh, we are grateful that you're here with us on this ride. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.